Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how to convert this 220 to 230 volts washing machine motor into a permanent magnet 12 volts DC motor. Now before I do that, I would like to show you a very interesting demonstration. But for that, I will be needing this 15 volts laptop charger and this motorbike alternator. Now when the magnet rotates around it, it changes poles and induces EMF in the coil which in turn generates electricity. But when we give supply to it, external supply and DC, then this generator becomes an electromagnet and these two become its poles. Now guys, this is a metal piece that gets attracted to a magnet. Now when we give it DC power supply, the electromagnet attracts the metal piece and when we remove it, it still remains attracted because of the residual circulating magnetic field. You see, power supply has been removed but it is still stuck to the electromagnet. And when we remove it and then we try to stick it back, it won't because the circulation of molecules has stopped. The same thing happens with the universal motors or these type of washing machine motors. Now guys, the air gap between the stator and the armature poles is so small that even though the two poles are not touching each other, still when the same magnetic circulation method is applied, it still circulates because of such a small air gap. So then it clicked my mind that this method can also be applied to these motors without removing the field windings and replacing it with permanent magnets. We can do it directly by just magnetizing the field for a few seconds and then running the armature directly. So let's try that. So guys as I have told you in my previous videos that uh, the two middle pins are for the armature winding this rotating part and the two below it are for the stator winding this one so guys to the field winding which is the lower two pins i will connect these yellow wires okay and to the middle two pins feeding the armature winding i will connect this red and gray wire Okay, now guys, this is a 30 volts 10 ampere push switch that I will be using to connect and disconnect the armature winding from the battery. So guys, this is a 12 volts 7H UPS battery that I will be using and to this I will be connecting the armature winding, the middle terminals. Let's turn this one on, yeah, off. Now what I have to do is power up the field winding of this washing machine motor with the help of this laptop charger. So let's connect it to these yellow wires, lower pins, which are for the field winding of this universal motor. Okay, one terminal has been connected. You see? The connection is correct. Now I have to turn on this switch and connect this terminal to this one both at the same time. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, go. You saw that it was fluctuating. That was because the resistance of the field winding is very less because of which it is drawing huge amount of current from this laptop charger and this laptop charger is not able to provide it so it is providing it in pulses okay so let's do it one more time you see 
okay so that was the first part in the second part what i will do is i will connect this wire to this terminal and turn on the switch at the same time and after that i will keep this switch turned on but i will remove this wire from this one and see if the magnetic field keeps on circulating through the course of this universal motor okay so let's do that okay go you see i have removed the field but still it is rotating and it is gaining speed as fast as it can get the maximum speed it can attain and i'm not sure how fast it gets you see it is running very fast right now at just 12 volts there is no other power supply given only one terminal i can remove this one too it is not needed i've turned off the switch and it is coming to stop now that was the circulating magnetic field now guys i have watched so many videos on youtube but i have never seen an effect like this in any video this is the first time i think this effect is being demonstrated in a youtube video now guys let's change the polarity and see what happens now initially this wire was connected to this one now let's connect this white wire to this one and this one to this wire okay connecting this wire and turning on the switch at the same time okay go again you see in this way it is not rotating let's try once again now for some reason this effect is not taking place in the anti clockwise direction although the motor starts in the anti clockwise but when i remove the field it does not works okay so i have interchanged the poles so that this motor can rotate in the clockwise direction again to see if the magnetic circulation effect is still going to take place okay go yeah the clockwise direction is still working but the anti clockwise was not working you can see the speed is very high let's turn this off and let's turn it on again oh it picks up the speed again wow again you can see that it is rotating so fast right now at a very high speed with the removed field winding and in the clockwise direction so guys if you have any suggestions why this effect is taking place or if you have seen it in your uh, previous experiments that you did please share it in comments now guys i am replacing the 12 volts battery with a 55 volts power supply So guys you can see it is 54 volts almost. Yeah. Also guys I am going to connect this multimeter in between this washing machine motor and this power supply to measure the current that is being fed to this motor in the magnetic circulation stage. Okay so guys these two are the armature wires as I told you. to so one terminal of the multimeter to one of the armature wires and the other one to the power supply now guys let's give some supply to the field winding and then remove it and see the current measurement over here so i will use the same 15 volts laptop charger for that let's make sure that it is rotating in the clockwise direction because it is not working in the anti clockwise okay let's go 
so it is an anti-clockwise interchanging the wires now it's ready for clockwise okay go once again Yeah, it is giving really strange effects this time when I connected the wire then it gained RPM but initially when I was disconnecting this wire then it gained RPM so guys that would be all about today's video thank you so much for watching it hope you liked it and learned a lot from it thank you